Hello and welcome back to our weekly eShop Switch Games sale roundup where we help you cut through the noise and find the best eShop bargains. I'm Jose Mero and along with Juan and Jordan we have you covered. Last week was all about the EU and UK spring sale and great news most of those games are now on sale until the 19th in the US now so be sure to check out last week's vid. Let us know what your pick of the week is in the comments as each week we give away a $10 eShop voucher to one person who shared their pick. Later on we will announce last week's winner but for now let's jump in and take a look at these deals. Kicking things off with my pick of the week and it's perhaps a surprise the Just Dance formula from Ubisoft hasn't changed much since the first release back in 2009 but if it ain't broke why fix it and all that? You pick up a Joy-Con and copy professional dancers' moves as they strut their stuff over a bunch of popular tracks. This year's entry is very similar to last year's, but the ability to hold a mobile has returned, which is a welcome addition, and the 40 tracks this year are quite broad and decent. There is also a kids mode, which takes down the complexity so your little ones can enjoy it. With 60% off, and whilst a lot of people are stuck in the house, this is a great way to do a workout and make it fun. It's also a laugh to play with your family members, including those little ones. The game has become quite polished, and aside from the new tracks, it's a bit hard to justify investing each time around, but it's easy to recommend if you don't own an older iteration. One thing to be aware of is Just Dance Unlimited, which is a subscription service that unlocks a huge number of additional tracks, but costs quite a bit. For some wholesome and active fun, consider this one. Jordan Juan, what are your picks this week? Hello everyone, Jordan here with my pick of the week. This time I'm going to go indie. I'm going with a nice little retro inspired RPG in the form of Cosmic Star Heroine. This is a great title that has a lot of callings from classics such as Chrono Trigger as well as Fantasy Star. And if you like either of those games, you definitely want to give this one a try. In the US, it's now 80% off, so for a very solid 10-hour compact RPG, you're definitely getting your money's worth. I thought full price was decent value, but just three bucks? Well, RPG fans owe themselves to give this one a try at that price. All right, guys, that's my pick of the week. The guys that made Hellblade certainly have pedigree from making Devil May Cry to Heavenly Sword. Here we have a Celtic warrior, a broken Celtic warrior, who must descend into hell to fight for her soul and dead lover. Set in the Viking Age, everything about this game screams quality and is a fantastic port on the Switch. The way the developers have given us an insight into Sanua's mind must be experienced. If you've not played this yet, now is the time to invest as it has 50% off in the UK and Europe. For our American friends, unfortunately, it's still full price, but no worries. You can purchase from any of these eShops and we have a handy guide as to how if you require it which we'll pin in the description. Great picks there, guys. Up next, it's Battle Chasers Night War. This is a fantastic Western-made JRPG-style game that's based on a best-selling comic from the late 90s. Featuring traditional turn-based combat, you explore a large world with secrets aplenty. It has lots of customization, crafting, randomly generated dungeons that will satisfy those looking to dungeon dive in this very well-put-together game. Plus, it looks lovely too. It may have been a bit daunting for some with its standard price of $40, but now on sale with its largest discount yet, it's well priced to pick up. Unravel 2 is a charming puzzle platformer in which you control two yarnies. Basically, characters made of thread that use their yarn to swing across gaps and solve puzzles. Playing it solo is fun, but it's clearly made to be enjoyed with a friend, and with a friend it is fantastic. This is one that is wholesome and all of the family can enjoy. 75% off is a steal for this really fun game. The Tourist is a wonderful action-adventure puzzle game which is just brilliant. While the art style is not to everyone's taste, in our team it won us over with its surprises. For example, football practice or surfing with some highlights in this great little 8 hour adventure. There is some great adventuring to do here and the game surprised us with its atmosphere, puzzling and exploring all while having a load of fun mini games thrown in to keep you hooked all the way to the credits roll must buy now that it's on sale. When Platinum Games bring out a new franchise, it's always exciting. They have a knack for creating fast-paced action games with a twist. And here, it's that you control two characters and it somehow feels right. Set in a dystopian future with aliens and a quirky tale, this is a AAA title that's highly polished and a blast to play with 33% off. It's a good time to pick up. In This Is The Police, you take the role of Jack Boyd, the chief of police in the fictional city of Freeburg in his final few months before retirement. Freeburg is in a downward spiral. There is corruption in the local government and the criminal elements have spread their influence. It's all rather depressing for Jack. This NAR style game 
blends city simulation with narrative-driven sections and crime-solving. The cast is excellent, and it's up to you whether you take bribes or play it straight. And for the most part, this is a gripping tale. Eventually, it gets a bit repetitive, but with 80% off, you can't go wrong. South Park The Fractured But Whole is a fantastic follow-up to The Stick of Truth. It's a must-buy for any South Park aficionado and still a blast for everyone else. Ubisoft took the development in-house this time and didn't disappoint. It's well written with a giggle every few moments. The game isn't perfect with a few small bugs and the sense that the difficulty isn't there to support the game's mechanics, but overall this game is just a blast. Owlboy is a game which took 10 years to make and you can see the love that has gone into every pixel of this wonderful game about a mute named Otis who struggles to live up to expectations of Owlhood. A story driven platformer which ignores gravity as you can fly, there are some nice dungeons to explore and challenging bosses to beat in this great adventure. We love the art, gameplay and music and at a price of just £11.39 it is currently a must own game. Back in the 90s, I loved the original Worms from Team 17, the mischievous mayhem that sets your troops against your opponents in turn-based, randomised terrain battles led to some great carnage. Over the years, the series has had some further hits, but also some misses. But to my delight, Worms WMD takes the series right back to its core. Silly and awesome weapons, 2D maps and devilish voiceovers. The campaign is decent, but playing this with friends is where the true joy lies. Songbird Symphony is an adorable 2D platformer in pixel art that follows the heartfelt story of Burb, a cheerful little bird on a quest to learn more about his origins. The game combines various rhythm gameplay mechanics, chirp in rhythm to activate platforms and learn new notes as you challenge the animals of the forest in wondrous musical battles. Burb will get access to new areas in the forest as he expands his vocal range. The combination works really well and there is a surprisingly big map to explore and find secrets in. With 80% off, this is a great bargain. Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap is a beautifully drawn and animated remake of the unforgettable Sega Master System game Wonder Boy 3. Cursed and turned into a half-human, half-lizard monstrosity by the Mecha Dragon, our hero will have to explore the many traps of Monsterland in order to find a cure. The game's developer, Lizard Cube, reverse-engineered the original game in order to faithfully replicate the character movements, item drop logic, secret door locations and much more. It's been recreated wonderfully and is worth picking up. Demambo is a classic chaotic multiplayer mayhem game. Getting a few friends together, this is a blast. It's easy to pick up and play with nice, simple controls. You control a blob that you move with one stick and have a single attack, and that's it. If you're in need of a fun party title, then this is a great pick. On the other hand, in single player, it will get boring pretty quickly. Sushi Striker is a puzzle action game bursting with anime style and character. It might look like a food management sim, but it's not. This is about linking plates of sushi and dashing them at your opponents whilst managing a raft of item skills and dealing with your opponent's attacks. It's a fun combo with some Pokemon RPG vibes thrown in for good measure. It's presented very nicely with particularly good cutscenes and the action is engrossing and tough. Plus, there is multiplayer to entertain you outside of the main campaign. Invisigun is a versus title with a unique take on the classic Bomberman formula. Like Bomberman, you play against opponents on a grid and your objective is to take them out and be the last man standing or to rack up the most kills depending on the mode you're playing. What is different is that you are all invisible. You only ever reveal yourself when you activate your skills or shoot your weapon. It makes it harder than most multiplayer games to pick up and play, but you soon get the hang of it. And when you do, you're in for a treat. Your clues are subtle. You will hear and see water splashing or leaves being ruffled. It's surprisingly great. And the stealth element really adds to the fast paced, frantic gameplay. This is a top notch game that is perfect if you have a few friends around and 95% off. Wow, what a bargain. Rocket League is a mad mashup of soccer and cars in which your aim is to score into the opposing team's goal. It's one of the most competitive games available on the Switch that requires a fair amount of skill to be any good at, but can be enjoyed by players of all skill levels. Online, you have the ability to choose 2 vs 2, 3v3 or 4v4 matches by teaming up with buddies, and you can also play locally using split screen. If you and your buddies all have a Switch and you play this one in local co multiplayer with support for up to play 8 players as well. In Mark of the Ninja Remastered, you'll know what it is to truly be a ninja. You must be silent, agile and clever to outwit your opponents in a world of gorgeous scenery and flowing animation. Marked with cursed twos giving you heightened senses, every situation presents you with options. This is a truly excellent stealth game with puzzle elements and great stealth mechanics. It looks great and is best enjoyed with the volume turned up so you can sneak around and remain unseen. 
Thumper is one of the best rhythm titles on the Switch. This is one of those games which is high on the frustrating scale, but is also really addictive. The game has you as a silver beetle hurting at great speeds along a track where you will have to press buttons in time with the rhythm to stay alive. Breakneck speeds, lane splitting, jumps, corners, all add to the difficulty. A very solid game with 75% off. Feudal Alloy is a metroidvania that is rough around the edges and odd. You play as a goldfish controlling a robotic body in an odd landscape full of robots in a medieval setting. I reviewed this one when it came out and I did enjoy it. There are nice RPG elements thrown in and the puzzles are excellent. It's not perfect, but at less than £3 it's a bargain worth checking out. And there you have a bunch of bargains worth picking up. Let us know what your pick is this week down below. And next Sunday, we'll give away a $10 eShop voucher. Speaking of which, last week's winner is Tommy Booth. Congratulations, Tommy. Please email us and we will get you that voucher. You can read a lovely write-up of this list over at switchwatch.co.uk, as well as finding some awesome articles. That's it from us today. But if you enjoyed this, please tune back in next Sunday for more bargains. And Jordan's brilliant physical roundup will be out tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. If you enjoy our content, well, thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing. Once again, a massive thank you to everyone who supports us. Have a great week.